Hey guys, it's Carla with Carla Dreyer Design, and today I'm gonna to show you three different ways to style your coffee table. Make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell so you're notified every Thursday when I release a new design video. Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about round coffee tables because that's what I'm working with is a round coffee table, which if you watch my videos, you probably know I do love a round coffee table. I think furniture can be very linear and it breaks things up and easy to move around, but sometimes it can be more challenging, I find, than the square or rectangle tables to style. So let's do styling number one. First is a book. I always like to have a coffee table book. Um, you can do a stack of them. Lately, I just kind of like to do one that I love and I think putting something that's meaningful to you. So this one's all about seasonal entertaining. It's beautiful. Um, if you're interested in art or photography or what birds, whatever it is, you know, put that on and it really grounds the space as well. Next, what I wanna do is put things on top of here. So I like doing a little uh, cluster gathering and thinking of threes. So for this, what I'm gonna do is just put a little vase, a little cute vase. I've got some dried florals in here on top, a little ceramic pottery bowl. And then I'm a fan of the beads. They've been around for a while, but I still love them. The reason that I love it is for styling. They just add movement and texture. So you're just gonna drape those on and they add a nice feeling of movement and texture. Last thing I'm gonna add, I love a candle on a coffee table and I'm not messing around because this is the biggest candle I've ever seen, <laughs> which I absolutely love because again, I love the ceramics, which is going with a lot of the natural elements I have here. Um, but again, it's something you can burn and love and just putting it on its own. So you can see we've got two different groupings. It's things that are meaningful to you, um, working in threes and having different shapes as well. So you can see we've got linear shapes, we've got some different shapes with the vases and again, a circular shape over here. And then you wanna think about in this room, because this side table is very close to the coffee table, I do like putting something on a side table. For here, I'm just gonna put a really simple little picture that goes with the color palette that we have going on and that's coffee table number one. All right, the second way is really simple again, uh, but it's gonna create a, a different look. So a tray is always a great option because it corrals things and, and makes them seem organized. I am really into woven, anything woven, wicker, textural these days. And so don't be afraid of, I know this is a wood and this is a textural element and they're sort of a similar color. It still works for me. The reason it works is because the texture is so different on it. So just taking the tray, I like angling them a little bit and then working in threes. So I've collected just a few really unique objects. I think things with great shapes to them uh, just add so much interest. So again, just putting another really unique shape and color to it in another candle holder. And then again, I love a candle, so putting a candle. So we've worked in threes, we've worked within the color palette and they all look really nice together and create a more modern look. And then we want to not forget about this little table beside here and we want to do something different um, so that so it works together but there's a little bit of contrast. So adding fresh blooms, which these are so gorgeous from uh, local florist Blumier, adding florals just makes any room come alive. What I love about this too is it adds height to this small table and kind of draws the eye up. All right, so we're on to our third setting with the coffee table. And again, we're keeping things really simple and really easy. And I'm gonna bring in fresh florals and greens again. So starting with pottery that you love um, and interesting shapes always works. And then there's these beautiful camellia branches just simply placed. I always like placing things a bit off center as well to start off with. Then I've got a wooden bowl. If you don't have trays or wooden bowls, get them. You can use them anywhere. Wood on wood is totally fine. I know I get that question a lot. So that kind of angled as well. And then these cute, adorable little bud vases with little camellia flowers and a beautiful little ranunculus flower just place simply adds such a nice vignette. And then again, because we've been doing the side table on this time, I would just put a simple book to keep things neutral and to make this your focal point. 
If you like this video, make sure to like it and that you're subscribed. And before starting any design or decorating style, it's great to know what your personal design style is. And I've created a free finding your design style quiz and you can link to it below. Thanks so much and I'll see you next week.